Can NVIDIA's Blackwell chips help it surpass Apple to become the most valuable company in the world? $15.7 trillion. That's the amount PwC, one of the big four accounting firms, estimates artificial intelligence, AI, could contribute to the global economy each year by 2030. This kind of economic boost is rare. AI has revolutionary potential, likely the biggest since the internet was introduced. NVIDIA, the company leading this AI revolution like no other, has already gained a large portion of this expanding market. Since the AI surge began in late 2022, NVIDIA's market value has increased by more than $3 trillion. Currently, the company's value is just under $3.4 trillion, trailing behind Apple, which is at $3.57 trillion, by around $190 billion. So, can NVIDIA surpass the iPhone maker to become the most valuable company? Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. NVIDIA's Blackwell will be big. NVIDIA's success in its industry is largely due to its advanced technology. The company's chips are consistently faster and more efficient than those of its competitors, which has allowed it to dominate roughly 90% of the market. In fact, last quarter, NVIDIA's net income from its AI chip market was about 25 times greater than that of its closest competitor, Advanced Micro Devices. NVIDIA understands that this advantage is not guaranteed, and it must work hard to maintain its lead. To stay ahead, the company has committed to updating its chips every year, rather than every two to three years, as is common in the industry. This is no small task. Currently, NVIDIA's hopper chips are still in high demand. Elon Musk recently ordered 100,000 of them to build the world's fastest supercomputer. However, NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell chips are set to start shipping soon. According to CEO Jensen Huang, the demand for these new chips is insane. In fact, some reports suggest they are already sold out for the next 12 months. To meet this demand, NVIDIA is expanding production and partnering with Foxconn to build the largest Blackwell chip production facility in the world, located in Mexico. Analysts at Morgan Stanley predict that Blackwell could generate an additional $10 billion in revenue before the year is over. While this is higher than NVIDIA's own projections and should be taken cautiously, it's clear that the demand for these chips is incredibly strong. It remains to be seen how many chips NVIDIA can actually deliver to meet this demand. Apple is having some growing pains. Apple is growing especially in its services segment and Wall Street seems relatively bullish. However, reports of less than stellar sales of its latest iPhone model are cause for concern. There are indications that sales may have slipped in China, a key market, and at home, the company is banking on its AI integrations, called Apple Intelligence, which require a newer iPhone to spur upgrades and boost sales. The jury is still out on whether the changes will be impressive enough for consumers to justify an upgrade. We'll learn a lot in the company's upcoming earnings release later this month. Hopefully the company has been able to improve its iPhone sales while continuing to take advantage of its service segment, which includes things like Apple TV, Apple Music, and the Apple Store. NVIDIA will pull ahead. Given NVIDIA's recent rollout of the Blackwell architecture and credible reports indicating strong demand, reminiscent of last year's surge that drove its impressive sales growth, I believe NVIDIA's share price will increase faster than Apple's. This may allow NVIDIA to take the lead in the competition for the world's largest market capitalization. However, there is an important consideration. We must take into account the valuations of both stocks. Let's look at a chart that compares the price-to-earnings ratios, or P-E ratios, of the two companies. NVIDIA's stock is currently trading at a significant premium, which is crucial to note. With such a high valuation, investors expect substantial growth. If NVIDIA fails to sustain its rapid growth rate, its stock price could decrease. Fortunately, it appears that this growth is unlikely to slow down in the near future. 
Since NVIDIA is in a high growth phase, we may need to use a different metric to assess the stock's potential. The PEG ratio, which is the price to earnings ratio divided by the expected growth rate, provides a better perspective in this case. Conventional wisdom states that stocks with a PEG ratio of one or lower are considered to be trading at a discount. Currently, NVIDIA's PEG ratio is 1.1, while Apple's PEG ratio is 2.4. This suggests that NVIDIA is the more favorable option. If NVIDIA continues to grow at its current pace, its high P-E ratio is justified, and Apple may find it challenging to maintain the number one position. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.